Hello folks, uh, doing a review today on a silencer from a company called Airgun Capital. On first inspection, it looks really well made. It's you can tell it's 3D printed, but uh, it's well made. It's got a threaded metal threaded end on it this is an half inch by 20 UNF thread and it's got the Lego on the side for Eagle Capital but it looks really nice silencer it's around five and a half inches long probably one and a half inches in diameter it only weighs probably about four or five ounces maybe but a nice little suppressor which I'm going to uh, test on one of the rifles I've got probably of the day state uh, Wolverine and I'll compare it to some of the other uh, suppressors that I've got as well or silencers or moder moderators whatever you want to call them all the same thing <clears throat> so I've not bought this I sent it over for review so because I'm not I wasn't buying it I have got around the delivery option so I've not bought it it's just been sent to me so gun laws are different around the world and in ours you can't buy a suppressor online it's got to be face to face uh, but it's, I suppose it's like with air rifles if you've got a uh, used one that you're selling you can post it it's, the laws are crazy but that's the way it is so this one is actually called from America Miami so if you live in uh, America you'll have no problems if you live in the UK it would have to be distributed through a registered firearms dealer if you want to buy it so uh, there we go so I'll just show you a bit around the website and then we'll get on with the tests like I said I'll be, I'll be using it through the 177 now this has been made to work with 177 22 or 25 in which case the hole in it has got to be big enough to cater for all three calibers now you can get caliber specific moderators so if you've got a 177 you can get the old down a lot smaller and it will definitely affect the, uh, the sound moderation because the bigger the hole the bigger the noise but also the larger the volume on a suppressor the more, the more it should uh, be able to dampen down the noise but we'll see how we get on with this one most moderators you can hardly hear the difference between one to the other anyway uh, you need a, an actual decibel meter which I have got so uh, let's get on with the test ok then well, now I'm on the Aircon Capital website I'll just show you some of the things they've got and there's quite uh, quite a lot of different things they do produce so plenty of silencers for all different kinds of uh, vehicle got adapters for silencers and I've also got uh, barrel bands and magazines looking at that. I was asked if I wanted to review anything on the site and I did have a problem because I hadn't got any of the particular guns for the barrel bands or any magazines so the only thing I could actually review would be a silencer so that's what I told them and I left it up to them to uh, send me whatever one they got as long as it was an half inch by 20 UNF thread which I think most of them are anyway so they sent me the silencer and that's what I've got pretty impressed with it as well 
quality and finish is really good. So going on to the silencers, I think this is a particular one I've got here. That one. Looks the same. But there are all the silencers. Adapters. To do so much adapter for 1377 and 22. I've actually got 1377 thinking about it, but I need to uh, sort that out. So we've got the 15mm by 1 by 20 UNF adapter. Got one here for the gauntlet. Crossman again. Benjamin the Barrel Bands Got it for the Avenger Crossman's Diana Barrel Band uh, Red Rider That's unusual, we don't, don't really see the Red Riders with Barrel Bands Benjamin Marauder Daisy Power Line Diana Anyway as you can see quite a big selection in the uh, CO2 cartridge holder as well. Really good prices as well. Uh, magazines, it looks like they've just got them off for the Benjamin. We're all the single shot tray. Who knows, you might uh, eventually do more actual magazines and things like that. So going back to the silencers then. It says upgraded off by 20 UNF air gun suppressor. It's definitely that one, but it, it's slightly different because this one is the upgraded version and this one has got a end cap that you can actually take off and uh, get to the baffles so that's the only difference okay then so there you go that is the Airgun Capital website if you go up to the media See that uh, Rick useless uh, in review for them. and also Airgun Capital have got a review from Airguns and Pesting Channel. So there you go, so you can look at their reviews. I did look at this one, well, that's quite a nice site. So that one that's on a Hatson, uh, just screws on, it's normal. Interesting design, not like uh, honeycomb design. And I think looking at that, Rick's been testing quite a few of the uh, suppressors, so if there's any of the suppressors you're interested in, I'd suggest going over and looking at Rick's channel, which you can get to either by going to his website or coming to Hagen Capital and, and going to the link that way. So there we go. Hagen Capital. And they are based in Miami, I believe. So then, up next, I'll be uh, testing the 
silent it and comparing it to some of the others that I've got. So let's carry on. Okay then, <clears throat> got all the silencers in front of me. So this is the air gun capital silencer. We'll try this one first. But to start off with, we're going to fire the rifle without a silencer on. Uh, I fire three shots for each part of the test, and we'll take the average from that. <clears throat> okay then, let's take that off. I'm using the uh, Day State Wolverine Mark 1 and that's being used on the Spawn Hawks at 10.34 grade. The first part will be the initial shot with no silence up. First up was the Egon Capital. state reflex silencer that came with the rifle. <coughs> so this one this is a state day state reflex silencer. Next up will be the CK Silencer or Cliff Curtain. Let's make this down at the club. Nice one. Okay then, KC Silencer. This one is the Chinese fuel filter. Use this one on the BSAR 10 quite a bit. Okay, that's certainly the uh, Chinese fuel filter. The 
next up is the BSA PC silencer. Quite a long one. Okay then, BSA VC silencer. And finally, the one I tend to use quite a lot is the uh, BSA QGS silencer. Compared to the BSA VC, they're about the same size. So, what the QGS? sound test complete so we'll have a look over the results and we'll see what we get. Not a lot in any of them I don't think between all of them this seem pretty similar to my hearing. We'll see what the uh, actual sand meter tells us but uh, all quite effective.
Okay then, I'm doing the test again in 2-2 this time, so I'm sure it will make a difference. Give it a, a good uh, advantage compared to the others which are designed for 2-2, whereas this one's designed for 2-5, so we'll see what difference it makes. So that's before starting off with uh, three shots with no silencer you can see it's really loud <clears throat> So we now put on the AC or the Regal Capital. So what difference that makes. It's only a short barrel so it's going to be quite noisy. Okay then. made a good difference. <coughs> Next one up is CK silencer, Cliff Kirkman. I've got no 2.5 that I can try for it, but uh, that's what it's designed for. And the others are only designed up to 2.2, two, so obviously it's a smaller hole, so it'll not be as noisy. be interesting to see what the comparisons are to the 177. Okay then. <coughs> so there's the CK. Finally, the one that came out on top, which is the BSA BC. Silences can also make a difference to the point of impact as well. Just wait for the plane to get two more shots and that'll complete the test. Everything's the same as yesterday. The uh, sound meter's in the same place. It's probably about 15 feet forward into the left. And the last one. Okay. So that is test complete. We'll look at results. And we'll draw up the conclusions. Okay then folks. Uh, coming to the conclusions now of the test. Now as you can see from the uh, top chart. That is from 
they state Wolverine Mark 1 but using the 2-2 Webby light, Lightweight really showed the uh, sound difference there without the uh, silencer on the iced uh, recording was first shot at 115.2 decibels uh, with the other two coming up at 99.8 and 99.3 that gave an average of 104.7 decibels so really loud it's only a 12 inch barrel on the uh, Webley and the uh, Day State Wolverine does have baffles in the shroud so that would have quieted that down a bit but having said that although the uh, Webley was louder a lot louder uh, the two the two two caliber I think it may, did make a difference because uh, the logic past the old American capital silencer worked much better so it knocked off at least 10 decibels and averaged 14.67 decibels that's compared to about five on the original test with the uh, 177 so if you look in green it says 177 rifle gave an average of 86 decibels with a with no silencer with a high of 87.9 two two though was much louder without a silencer with an average of 104 decibels with a high of 115.2 so uh, the capital did uh, a really good uh, share of itself in the next calibre up as did the others it got a lot close to the uh, K, uh, CK silencer this time that knocked off 12 decibels with an average of 17 so the extra volume did make a difference there looking at it but then we go on to the uh, BSA VC and that's that just uh, the dogs are really knocked off at least 21 decibels averaging 25.3 so uh, still came out on top but uh, all three did well and the reason I chose these I chose uh, what did the worst, what, what was in the middle and what did the best. But they all did a quite a good improvement on the initial 177. Like I said, I've not got a 2.5 to try if I had. That would have been a, a good test to do. But uh, all in all, they've all done well. Anything that can quieten your rifle down is good, whether you're hunting or shooting on the backyard. And I do not normally shoot my Webley with no silence on and you can understand why it's not battery hard friendly without a silencer but the uh, air gun capital helped but having said that the 177 was an average of 86 decibels and everything that we shot through the 2.2 was above that no, apart from the uh, BSA VC that's the only one that was uh, quieting it down to uh, below what the 177 was doing really good so thanks for watching the video uh, i hope you've got some information out of the different tests as i say the uh, normally the larger the volume of the silencer the better and also it's all day, also down to the size of the hole running down the center and there's all different kinds of uh, baffling you can get somewhere a bit like uh, women's curlers with felt around it Others, they're uh, shaped cones. There's different ways of going about it. They all do the job. Some just do better than others. The wire acts tend to do really well. And I believe they're the uh, ones that look a bit like women's curlers with the felt wrap around. But uh, there we go. That is the American Capital Airgun Silencer. Yeah, and it's available in 177, 22 and 25. All in one silencer. I'll catch you in the next video.